Good morning everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. So I'm just being a little bit quiet because Jenna is sleeping, but I'm about to head off to the gym to meet Alyssa. We're going to do legs and I thought I would just take you along today, kind of like a little bit like a day in my life um, because I'm not doing too much today. I went to the gym, coming home, working on some homework and then going to work. So very exciting, normal day, but I will see you guys when I get to the gym. So you guys, this is the cutest thing ever. I'm on the way to the gym. Um, this lady or person has like this display outside of her window. It's so cute. We just made it to the gym. Uh, we're gonna start off with Stairmaster uh, for about like 10 minutes, and then we're gonna head to the leg workout, and I'll show you guys what we do. But Alyssa puts me through, and I am sore for a couple of days after, so. We started off our workout with squats and we did these 10 to 12 times repeated four times. For this exercise, light weights are best because the depth of your squat really makes it effective. So we normally use like an actual hip thrust machine, but this gym doesn't have it. Our other gym does, but we decided to go a different one today, so we're doing this. But this isn't enough, like padding on the bar and it still hurts, so we normally will do 40 but right now we're just doing 30 on each side because it hurts too much to do 40. But this is a killer. Okay, up next is this machine. I don't know what it's called, but you guys, this is a killer. Like I started to load 20 on one time and I was, it was like, no, you only need like 10. And so I got scared when she said that. But it is a killer. If you ever want to have your butt hurt for like three days after, do this machine. It's crazy. We did glute bridges here just 10 to 15 times and you're holding it at the top for about three seconds. Do this at the end of your workout for a killer finisher. So we're just about to do abs. And you guys, there's this girl filming a live while she's working out like her phone is set up and she's like talking to her phone like an instagram one so bizarre but the view from doing you can see me um from doing our abs is so pretty it's like floor to ceiling windows super pretty so we're gonna do this like deep core exercise Alyssa has Okay, you guys, so I just got home and I stopped at the grocery store on the way home and then um, I also stopped to get a baguette and Alyssa told me that you can get just half one. So I got just half because a day old baguette is never good and you should always just have them fresh. They're way better fresh. So I did that and then now I'm just doing a hair mask um, because it's kind of raining out and I don't really have anything to do right now so I'm just gonna do some homework and work um, but I'm gonna reheat my food from last night I made like a beef pasta with carrots so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna do some homework and then I'm gonna go to work but um, I actually opened my advent calendar um, this morning so I'll put that here but I don't really know what this is it's a bell I think I don't really know I'm very confused about this whole advent calendar, but um, I was expecting to get like dinosaurs every day, like different dinosaurs, but I've so far gotten trucks, trains, and now this bell thing. But maybe you guys can tell me what it is because I have no idea. I'm gonna work on my homework, so I'll talk to you guys later. You guys, I'm just on my way to work, and one thing about living in Paris is I ride my bike to work most of the time, and listening to Christmas music while riding down the streets with all the Christmas lights is so magical. My favorite song is Step Into Christmas by Elton John, I believe. It is like so good, and sometimes I ride down Champs Elysees, which is where all the Christmas lights are. It's stunning but it's pretty cold so I have gloves and like two layers and stuff but not as cold as it was last week it's definitely warming up but I'll see you guys later so I'm just gonna make dinner now I think I'm gonna make spaghetti with pesto and some ricotta cheese and maybe some carrots or a vegetable or something but I will show you guys the process of that and then show you what it tastes like now so I have the noodles boiling and then I'm just gonna chop the carrots up and you guys this is like my favorite sauce it's just like red pesto or something. I don't know. It's so good. So I'm going to add this and then maybe some ricotta. But I'm going to chop the carrots and then call me weird. But I put the carrots in when the noodles are boiling. And you kind of get two jobs done in one. 
I don't know if it's a weird thing to do or if it's normal, but I just found it out this week and it honestly is life changing because the carrots are perfectly soft in like two minutes. It's perfect. Okay, so I have the carrots in with the noodles. Again, I don't know if this is weird or normal, but it works for me. So if you want to try it, you can try it, but this, I don't know, it works. So I'm gonna let this boil until the noodles are al dente because ever since going to Italy, I love my noodles al dente. I didn't before, which I don't know if that's again normal or weird, but I liked them like fully cooked, but now I like them very al dente. So. Okay, so I just added on the pesto and then I'm actually gonna do this kind of cheese instead. And I'll just like add a little bit on, but the carrots are perfectly like um, soft. So it definitely works, you guys. So if you try it, let me know because I don't know if this is a new thing, but I love it because normally I would have to like then cook the carrots separately in like water and like steam them like how you know normal people would do it. But it just gets it done all in one go. Okay, you guys, I'm just gonna eat my dinner, but that was basically a day in my life. Very, very normal. Um, not every day is like super exciting, but every day is has its events. But anyways, thanks for watching today's vlog and definitely come back tomorrow. Bye.